In today's video, I'm going to try and give you a basic view of the compass functionality on the Cento 9 barometer watch. Now, when I say basic view, I say that because there's a lot of different things you can do under the compass, and I'm going to try and keep this simple just for the person who's sitting out there, they're thinking about buying this watch, and they just want to see what does the compass look like on it. Now, this is a touchscreen watch, so if you're a touchscreen person, we could simply swipe down. I tend to be more of a button person, so I'm going to press the top right button two times to go to the navigation menu. The compass functionality falls under the navigation menu. Once I'm on navigation, I'm either click the screen or press the middle button on the right hand side to go to our different navigation options. I use the down button and we're going to go to compass. Now, the first time you get the watch, you'll have to calibrate your compass. I've already calibrated mine. This is a look at the basic compass functionality on the watch. You basically have a directional pointer Mine, uh, my watch is currently facing northwest, 302 degrees, and now I've got my current time down here at the bottom. It's 427. This red uh, triangle is your north indicator, so no matter what direction the watch is facing, the red will always point to the north for you. Pretty basic stuff. If we press and hold the middle button on the right-hand side, it will take us back. If we go down to navigation settings, we do have some options for our compass. Under navigation settings, I could calibrate the compass, I could set a declination, I could change my units. You notice that mine were in degrees. If I wanted to change that to mils, I could do that. The big thing I wanted to show you under here, you could adjust your position format, is the theme. So if I go to theme and I change it from light to dark, it's basically going to invert my compass colors. I'm going to go ahead and go back and let's go back to compass again. It's basically the same thing we saw as before but you'll notice now we have a dark background with the light font. I personally am not a dark theme guy. It's not easy for my eyes to see that. I like the light background with the dark font but I know there's a lot of people that like this view better. I'm going to go ahead and press the back button again. The other thing I was going to show you without getting into too many specifics is you do have an option for bearing navigation. I'm going to press the G, uh, not the GPS, the middle button on the right hand side to choose bearing navigation. You'll notice it says point the arrow to a target and lock. So if I'm seeing something off in the distance, maybe I'm trying to go to a mountain peak or something like that, I can lock it in. I have the option to set how many miles away I am from the object, as well as what the altitude differential will be. I'm going to go ahead and choose no for those. But now I've got a compass view with the bearing location set. Your two triangles up here is your directional pointer. What direction am I going? The uh, blue triangle is the direction of my bearing. So if I wanted to get back on track, I need to adjust my watch to where the triangles and the bearing are together. And I've still got my north indicator. It's that little triangle up there, the little red one, that will always be pointing to the north. What's cool with this is if we did set a distance and an altitude, once we get to our destination, it will alert us and tell us that we should be there. If you don't know how far your destination is, it'll basically just keep navigating you until you know that you're there. But that's what it looks like if you did. A bearing navigation. Once you're done with your compass you can simply press the middle button on the right hand side. Oh, I'm sorry, you press the top button since we're in bearing and I'm just going to end the navigation. And then I can go up, I'm back to my navigation, press the down button two times, I'm back in my watch face. I hope that gives you an idea of the basic functionality and settings that are available on the Cento 9 barometer watch with regard to the compass. Thanks for watching.